What is up, sharers? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to another awesome day. Uh, I guess, well, it's actually nighttime right now. It's almost midnight, so it's actually pretty late. The reason why I'm making this video so late is because Steven is missing, and I haven't seen him for a few days. More than that, you know, I've also been watching his vlogs, and I'm starting to get, like, freaked out. And as I've said earlier in my other Exploring Abandoned Places videos that I've been posting, I'm not usually the one to get scared very easily. So when I'm, like, nervous, and when I get scared, you know it's, like, a big deal. And right now, I'm, I'm like, really kind of scared for Steven because I haven't seen him for a few days which is pretty scary in itself but you know I trust Steven to be okay but on top of that I'm starting to notice really weird things and I think I'm starting to figure something out so shares check this out because so Steven went to the woods near the house he started exploring nothing too crazy there like we've been in the woods before but um, I think he went a little deeper than usual because two videos in a row he has posted exploring the woods and he found all kinds of crazy stuff Stuff that I've never seen before, so obviously I've never been back in the woods that deep. He must have walked really far into the woods to find all this stuff because I never even knew it was there. The only reason why I know it's there now is because I watched Steven's vlogs. And yeah, that is some seriously spooky stuff. But guys, listen to this. It gets spookier than that. So Sharers, I think what's going on has been happening for a lot longer than Steven's been exploring these woods. I think it's been going on for a very long time. Let's rewind the clocks back to March 18th. This is the date that me, Liz, and Steven went exploring the abandoned town. So Sharers, if you haven't already seen this vlog, we have this abandoned town that's not too far from our house and it kind of connects to the woods too. So I'm thinking maybe this all connects together and I'm starting to figure out like, the pieces. So we went exploring this abandoned town quite a while ago. This was a kind of an older video at this point. And while we were there, I didn't really notice anything. I mean, the place was spooky, don't get me wrong. This place was abandoned. But after I posted the video and you guys started watching it, I looked at your comments and a lot of you guys were commenting that you actually saw something and not just anything, but some kind of like man or some sort of, sort of like figure that looked like a man. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I'm looking down at the top comment, I even pinned it. This totally freaked me out because I didn't notice it when I was there. And imagine filming a vlog and posting it and not even knowing what happened until somebody else who watches the video notices it and then comments and they show us and they re-watch the video and sure enough, it's there. Check this out. So we go up to this abandoned building and we walk in a couple times and I see some sort of flickering light and I run out of there. The first time that I saw it, I freaked out. I hit the record button so it stopped recording and I ran out so I totally missed it. So I turned the camera back on because I didn't think you guys would believe me if I didn't get it on camera. So I go back in and it happened again. But I also don't think the camera picked it up. So then I go in for a third time, I walk into this building and check out what happens. So I walk in there and all of a sudden the light flickers again, sure enough, for three times in a row. But this time it was a little bit different. This time there was some sort of figure, like a man standing there. But not just any kind of man. This man must have been like 10 feet tall because he looked really tall. Way taller than me because I'm standing here and it's, the head is way above me. Check out this clip. Look at the height of this man. You can see the silhouette. This looks just like a shadow of a man but it's really tall. So that is the first thing that totally spooked me out. But I figured, hey, as long as I don't go back to the abandoned town, then, you know, nothing to worry about because whatever that is or whoever that is, well, it's at the abandoned town, so it's not a big deal. But then it gets crazier because it doesn't stop there. So now let's jump in time back to just a couple days ago when Steven uploaded his first exploring the abandoned forest video. In this video, not a whole lot happens. It is a spooky video, but nothing crazy. But then if you look closely, something was in this video that I don't think Steven noticed at the time either. You had to look really closely for the things because when you film exploring videos, you're not watching the footage. Sometimes you're holding it, sometimes you're filming behind you. The camera's looking behind you, but I'm looking forward. So if the camera catches something behind you, I'm not gonna see it until after the video is done. And I think that's what happened here again. In this video around 11.42, Steven's looking around and he's finding all kinds of clues of people sleeping or living in the forest. He finds like a sleeping bag and pillows and snacks and all kinds of stuff. It's actually really kind of creepy because that's like more evidence that maybe what we saw in the first video might have been a man that was living there and he was somehow standing somewhere casting a shadow. Super creepy. So if you look later in the video at 11.42, let's watch this, check this out. So Steven's in the woods, he's spotting these like crystal rocks which are pretty bizarre and then he starts to hear a noise. And so it kind of spooks him out, nothing too crazy and he starts looking around. But what he doesn't notice at the time is that there was some sort of something there. And if you slow it down even slower and you pause the camera on that frame, it's hard to tell what it is because the camera is so blurry, 
but it looks like a man. And not only does it look like a man, it looks like a really tall man. So I'm thinking, is this the same tall man that we saw in the first video at the abandoned town? I don't know, but I'm really starting to get the chills just thinking about this. This is absolutely crazy. Sherry, do you see what I'm saying? This is starting to get really, really spooky, and this is why I'm so like free I'm freaking out so much because I haven't seen Steven and I'm starting to see these things. I see it in the first video on one of my videos, and Steven was there. Now Steven's in the woods and I see another figure that looks like a tall man, and it doesn't even stop there. Let's move on to the next video. This video was posted on Liz's channel. Liz noticed that Steven was missing. I thought he was just kind of joking or whatever. I didn't really notice he was gone for that long because this was just after the first video he posted. Anyways, I follow Liz into the woods and we go looking for him. I figured he would just be out in the backyard somewhere or somewhere in the woods. So we walk around. We didn't really find anything. We didn't find Steven. But then we started to find some of the same things that Steven came across. So I knew we were on the right track of like Steven was here, but we might have just missed him. Like he must have been deeper in the woods or something. I'm not sure where he was. Okay, Sherry, so we saw a man at the first place. We saw a man again. And now we found some sort of saw or murder weapon or something crazy. I don't know what it is, but this is really starting to get scary because I think there's something going on here. I think there's something big happening in the woods. I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to figure it out. So let's move on to the next video. So Steven uploaded another video yesterday and he's still in the woods. He's still exploring and I think he's only going deeper because in this video he finds all kinds of crazy stuff from like a flipped over car to a house to like all this stuff. I can't even name all the different things that he saw, but he found like pallets and trails and trash and all this signs of somebody definitely being back there. Like that stuff doesn't just show up randomly like that. Like somebody has to get those things and bring it back there. I mean, there was a car in the woods that was flipped upside down and rusted away, just like that saw was rusted away. So I don't know what's going on, but I have a feeling that all of this stuff is somehow connected together and Steven might be in serious trouble. Steven found also a lot of different signs that were posted on the trees and these notes were just like rotting away. They were like rusty and they kept saying like private property, move at your own risk, like danger, like bad things that were trying to like scare Steven away. So I don't know if Steven is about to stumble upon something like huge that is trying to be hidden in the woods and people are trying to keep us away. I don't know what this is. This video that Steven posted was one of the most scary videos I've ever seen because he found all kinds of stuff in the woods and it has me thinking like there's got to be something back there. Like why is there so many things? I don't know why there's so many signs that say do not trespass, but there's definitely a reason why people do not want Steven back there because they're posting all these signs and there is something big back there. I just don't know what it is yet. And the last thing is check out the thumbnail for this video. If you see, he's taking a picture of himself in front of like the little house, the abandoned house that's in the middle of the woods, but I think somebody lives back there. And if you notice, in the back, in the very distance, there's some sort of figure of a man. Yes, this is the third time I'm seeing some sort of figure of a man. And again, it's not just any man. This man is really tall. This is a house and he's standing there and he's like towering over it. And it looks like, again, he's almost 10 feet tall, just like the first man that we saw in the abandoned town. Just like the second man that Steven saw on the woods on the first day. And just like in the thumbnail that he posted yesterday, it's another figure of a man that's really, really tall. Oh, okay, Sharers, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so we were filming that video last night and this morning I was watching through the footage again and I found another instance of the man, another sighting of the man. At least I think this one's a little bit blurry so it's hard to tell. Just let me know what you guys think. As we were watching through the footage, Liz is actually the one who pointed this out because I didn't see it because it's actually, this one is really, really hard to see. You have to watch very, very closely to see this one. But if you look at the video around 4 minutes and 15 seconds, you can see Steven's still deep in the woods. He's looking around and he finds some sort of like livable space, kind of like a cabin of some kind. And as he moves the camera, if you look super closely, you almost can't see it. So we're going to play it in slow-mo right here, right now. Check this out. So as you're watching, the camera starts to pan. And as it pans, look at that. I think that's like an arm or something. Yeah, right? I don't know. It looks so scary. I'm like, so I don't worried. Think, I don't think it's a tree. I think it's something like, it's definitely the man. Like, it's got to be. This is the third time that we are seeing the man. And I think he's somehow following Steven. This is super spooky. Okay, now back to the vlog. Woo! So I'm going to do what I can. Steven is my brother. I need to find him. I need to do what I can. The Sheriff fam is so strong and we can't afford to lose a member like this because Steven's my brother. We love him so much and I think we need to go find him. So Liz and I are going to go try to find him in the woods. We are going to figure out where in the woods he is. We're going to go there. We're going to go deep in the woods as deep as we can and see if we can find him, find clues of where he was 
figure out where did he even go. I don't even know where this little house is. So we're going to see what we can do. So follow our journey on Liz's channel. She's posting that video today. So check it out. I hope we can find Steven um, and shares. I really hope we can find it because if we don't, I really don't know what to do. Uh, this is kind of like really scary for me. I really have no idea what's happening here. But if you join with us together, I think we can find him. The Share fam is so strong and we can do anything. We can find Steven. Let's do this. Okay, shares. I'm signing off. Follow me on Lizzie's channel. We're going to the woods. We're going to see if we can find him. And until next time, you guys know what to do. Stay awesome and share the love. Peace. Woo!